And so this is the solution video for the lab three on getting your conversation workspace up and running. So to start, um, I'm gonna start off here at the dashboard for IBM Cloud. So I'm gonna go to the top right, click on catalog, down to Watson, and then conversation. Uh, make sure everything looks good and hit create. And that's going to create the instance for us. So once that's done, uh, we can now download the JSON file that's linked in the uh, in the uh, lab doc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link. And uh, that'll take you to this uh, document. You can go ahead and click download. And um, save that to your computer locally. And then, and then once it's done downloading, you can go back to your conversation uh, service page, click on launch tool. And then a new tab should open up to take you into the conversation tooling. Now, sometimes you'll get a page before this that says uh, log in um, uh, to uh, IBM Cloud to continue. I mean, just click log in with IBM ID and that'll take you straight to here. So from here, we can click on the little upload button, choose file then navigate to the file that you just downloaded. Uh, make sure everything is selected here in the import option, then click import, and that'll create the workspace for you. So the first thing to do is go to intents, click add intent, and we're gonna name this one hotels. Click create intent, and now we're going to add a few uh, examples here. So just going down the list of uh, examples that are in the document, we're going to do what hotels, what, what hotels are in, hotels, list the hotels, what hotels, oops, missed one. List hotels, what hotels do, what hotels do you have reviews for, what hotels can you tell me about. All right, and that's we, once we have all those done, um, you can add any other ones if you want to. Um, but where do you go back? And then now we're going to add another intent. We're going to name this one about. I'm going to click create intent. Add user examples. Tell me about. I want to know about. Tell me. I want to know. Like, what can you do? And what can you tell me? All right, we're going to go back and another intent. We're going to name this one best. Intents. What is the best hotel? Best top rated. Best hotel. Highest rated. Highest rating. Best reviews. And top. All right. And that intent is done. And so now we're going to move on to entities. 
So the entities is only one entity we need to create, and that's just the city entity. So we're going to be city, create entity. And so the first entity is going to be Chicago. And then so we're going to have synonyms here for Chicago. So we're going to go ahead and add a Chi Town and uh, of course the Windy City. And so we're going to add another value. And so this value is going to be New York. And so now we're just going to add uh, synonyms for New York. All right, add the last value. And this is going to be San Francisco. It's going to be uh, San Fran, SF, and the Bay Area. So those are the three synonyms for San Francisco. We're going to add the value. And then we're done with entities. That was all. Now if you noticed, uh, when we go back, we have another entity for hotels that's already there for you that was imported with the workspace. So now we're going to go to Dialog. And we're going to add a few uh, nodes here. All right, so we're going to go to uh, greeting node, click the button, the menu button, click add node below. And then in the uh, if a bot recognizes, we're going to do the pound symbol. I'm going to do hotels, that pops up. And then you're just going to copy and paste the uh, response in the lab doc. And uh, you're done with that. We're going to add a child node. And so we're going to do at city. Uh, is let's start with Chicago. So if the the Chicago city is identified, we're gonna trigger this. So copy and paste the response from the lab doc. All right, and then now we need to set the context variables. So click the buttons, open JSON editor and then copy the code from the doc, there you go, and that's done. So then we're going to add more child nodes and do pretty much the same thing. Uh, same thing for the other cities. that in. Um, looks good. Then add another child node. This is going to be San Francisco. Context variable. And there you go. So your notes should look like this so far. Next thing we have to do is do the um, jump to action for the extra nodes. So to do that, we're going to go here. Do a note above. This is going to be at city. Is Chicago. Uh, 
Um, then jump to expand the hotels node and go to Chicago and click on respond and that's all now you gotta repeat this for the um, other two cities so back to the hotels node add a node above um, for the condition you gotta do city that is do New York uh, jump to uh, New York, respond, and then the last city, add note above, that city, it, oh. city is San Francisco, jump to, and then the child node for hotel again, San Francisco right there, respond. So there you should have uh, three top level um, uh, city nodes that jump to the uh, child node for ho the hotel's responses that we just created earlier. And then next, we're going to add um, the best intent. So go to the greeting node, click below, uh, click add node below, then we're going to do best and then now we're going to uh, enable the multiple responses by clicking customize at the top right um, click on multiple responses click apply and then now we have this table down here all right so for the first um, first condition we're going to do city is and then we're starting with New York and then just copying and pasting from the lab doc again all right once we have the um, response in we'll hit the little cogwheel on the right side uh, we'll hit the three buttons the three button menu and we'll open JSON editor and then there is just a uh, snippet of code we need to copy and paste this is to set the context variable for, so our application knows to knows what to query discovery with all right once that's done click save and then uh, we're going to add a new response city is and let's do uh, San Francisco and then um, copy the response uh, again click the little cogwheel a three circle menu open JSON editor and then copy and paste that code snippet again And save that. Uh, add another response. It's gonna do at city is and let's do Chicago. Copy and paste that response. Then hit the cogwheel, the menu button, JSON editor and then copy and paste that context variable paste it above the output object save all right and then now there's uh, one last um, one last response we need to make and this is the best hotel overall uh, response and basically this is if someone asks for the best hotel without specifying a city so what we're going to do is we're going to add a response and we're going to leave the condition uh, blank uh, so that this is kind of the default if all other conditions uh, fall through. So we're going to copy the response for that, paste it in, and then click the cogwheel, menu button, open JSON editor, and then uh, just copy the last uh, context variable uh, setting there. 
All right, when you're done, hit save. And that's all for the best node. All right, and so now that's done. Let me just close that out. And so now we need to add our about node. So just above the by node, we'll do add node above. And then we'll do about. And then, so there's a paragraph in the, um, not a paragraph, but a long sentence in the uh, lab doc that you can just copy and paste uh, into the response. And then once that's there, it's easy. You close that out. That's all you need to do for that node. And so for the, the last node, we're going to um, basically uh, identify what's what hotel the uh, user is asking about. So we're going to go to the best node, uh, click add node above. And so for this, we're going to do add hotel. And we're going to click any. So basically, if any hotel is identified from the list of hotels in our entities, um, then uh, this this node will trigger. All right, so then there's just a quick response we need to copy and paste. And then we're going to add our context variable. So open the JSON editor again and copy and paste that code here again. All right, there it is. Then close it. And so now that's done. So now we can actually test this out. And so now this is going to run dialog against our dialog flow here. So we just do our simple commands. Yep, yeah, and there it is. Hope that helps.